Let's read the first email. Email subject: Sunona, Sunona, Sunlona. Email body text: Hi Ansh, it's me again. I hope you contact me and give me a chance, because हर एक चांस जरूरी होता है. Regards, the full name. This right here is a great example of what not to do when you're cold emailing someone. In fact, I get dozens of such emails that are so bad that they will blow your mind. Cold emailing is the art of emailing someone you have never spoken before to get their attention for a job, freelance work or any opportunity. Knowing how to cold email has helped me connect with legends like Sir Don Norman and Nireal. In fact, it has helped me get high ticket clients for our AI trainings all across the world. I know that most of your emails get ignored, and that is because you don't know how to write a powerful high conversion email. So in today's video, I will solve your problem forever and teach you how to 10x your chances of getting a reply using our highly effective Brace framework. Welcome to our Skill Station series by the Cutting Edge Show, where we teach the latest tech skills to grow in your job and career. Finishing your homework from this video can get you a certificate of achievement. We will pick winners within five days after the release of this video. There's a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's get the first email. Now, this email was written by someone who wanted to apply for our video editing position. You should actually pause the video and read the email. Let's assume the sender's name is Varun. Now, before I move ahead, please note that I'm not criticizing this person, but I'm doing a review of his cold email. This exercise is not to insult someone, but to teach everybody how to improve their writing skills. Next, I used to write terrible emails in my college days. Please don't be embarrassed if you're making similar mistakes because everyone starts as a beginner. In the end, I will be very strict with my reviews. My job here is to make sure I help you become the best version of yourself, which means you need to be okay listening to some dart, which is scolding in Hindi. With that being said, In this first example I'll teach you some basic cosmetic changes. In the second example I will teach you how to write your email in the first place. Now here Varun's first mistake in this email was using incorrect capital casing. He has written my name, his college name and his degree name all in lower case. Make sure you always use title case for any important person, place, designation or organization. Title case means the first letter of every word has to be in capital. This also includes the subject of your email. Instead of this, your email title should look like this. Varun's second mistake was insufficient line breaks. You need to split your long email into short paragraphs. Instead of this, you should split up your entire email into mini paragraphs so the reader can quickly scan important points. Varun's third mistake was improper punctuation. Never add a space before full stops. Never add a space before commas. Inversely, always add a space after a full stop and after commas as well. I get so many emails and YouTube comments blindly copied from an AI tool. For God knows which reason, they often forget to delete the placeholder brackets and commas that they get from the AI tool. And this is a very big red flag for the reader. If you're not able to catch yourself making such basic mistakes, then it's clear that you're not taking your work very seriously. Varun's fourth mistake was lack of proof. Any time you ask for an opportunity you need to add links to your previously done work this email would have been 10 times more effective if varun had added hyperlinks to each of these sentences directing to a google drive with all of his work on public viewing access now before i reveal his fifth mistake let me introduce you to a tool that can help you write not just your emails but all of your documents way more easily to make editing and writing easier you can use lex an ai powered word processor designed to meet all of your writing brainstorming and editing needs in one single place if you need instant feedback or ideas just ask lex it will analyze your document give you insights on your tone structure or flow and even cut out excessive words fix confusing phrasing and make your grammar perfect with just a single click it's like having an expert editor available 24/7 with lex's prompt builder You can create custom prompts to shape your writing tone, style or brand voice. Lex will adjust its feedback to match your requirements. Lex also offers real-time collaboration allowing you to share documents, make simultaneous edits and leave comments but with an AI collaborator built right in. For focused writing, Lex has a full screen mode to avoid distractions. Plus, 
it tracks version history so you can save all of your changes and go back if needed so if you're looking for a tool that combines everything you need for writing and editing then make a free account on lex without any credit card the link is in description now let's get back to varun's fifth mistake which was forgetting his email signature email signature is your personal information that comes at the end of your email this should include your full name your direct phone number if possible your company's name and designation if you're already working and all of your portfolio links now there are three more important things that can help your email look way way more professional having a clear front facing dp clicked by a camera that is good enough and sharp enough in front of a solid colored background have a full name in title case in your email settings i get so many emails where the name of the sender is in either sentence case or just lower case next try to invest in a domain name and get a professional email for example in college my email was anshbruno1 at the rate gmail.com but today i use admin at the rate anshmera.com by the way Even though Varun's email was badly written, his work was pretty good. In fact, our team shortlisted him for the next round as well. So please note that even if you write terrible emails, if your work is good, you will get attention. But it just helps to set a good strong impression when you know these basics. In fact, we keep sharing such job applications, behind the scenes content and free resources on our Instagram broadcast community. You should scan this QR code and be a part of it. You'll get to read and learn about a lot of new things. By the way, the best part about Varun's second and email was that he wrote it really well i didn't give him any feedback he just automatically fixed his writing it was almost like two people through the same email so varun thank you for learning and improving your emailing skills on your own now this first example was all about email formatting and you might think that these are too basic but take a look at this email or this one or even this one i am amazed by the kind of emails people actually send but honestly fixing these bare minimum things will not solve your problem the real value is in understanding what to write so even if you follow all the five tips i've shared earlier if you fail to use our next framework you'll be left disappointed let me show you the second email assume this was written by a girl named riya riya sent this pitch to join our team and even though she had put in a lot of effort it still had major flaws you can pause the video and read it to fix this email we will need to follow the brace principle of cold emailing which is beginning with who you are revealing your offer authenticating yourself with proof and testimonials closing with a professional signature and elevating your first impressions with a clear dp and professional email let me explain all of these things one by one so this is how riya started her email this is where i actually got to know who she is and what she does now instead of writing such a long story she could have simply said to the team at cutting edge school My name is Riya Verma and I'm a professional cinematographer and digital marketer based in New Delhi, India with 3 years of experience specializing in infotainment content. This new intro tells me what is her full name, her core skill, where is she from, how many years of experience she has and what niche does she specialize in. The original intro written by Riya took 700 plus characters. This new intro took just 165 characters to give the same value. This same intro would become even more effective if I hyperlinked Riya's full name to her portfolio or LinkedIn profile and attached her work links to her designation. So to summarize, you need to begin your email clearly informing your reader about your full name, your core skills your location years of experience and specializing niche or your natural interests once done our next step is to write the offer you need to be very clear about what you want from the reader and you need to get to the point as fast as possible because with every sentence you type you're losing attention so instead of a big paragraph simply write something like I can be your content researcher and help you save time in scripting your long form and short form content especially for your tech and design based tutorials or something like I can create YouTube thumbnails for your infotainment content that can significantly improve your CTR and overall brand identity or even something like I can offer high quality long form video editing services especially for infotainment documentaries or series like XYZ YouTuber that will help you boost your AVD and overall YouTube watch time your offer needs to be very clear and it must include what is it that you're offering and why is that offer even valuable and you need to mention references and things that are very specific to your industry to show the reader that you know what you're talking about in all the three examples i've shared 
I've specifically called out what is the offer and why is that offer even valuable to the reader. Once you clearly explain these two components, we will move to step three because without establishing credibility and proof of work, you will not get any good replies. So step three is about authenticating yourself. Make sure you add as many links as you can to a bullet list with all of your work. Make sure you mention why this link is worth clicking. Please do not use link trees because it is very, very difficult to go through all of your link trees and collaboration links and figure out what is your best work. It should be your responsibility to make a list where your most important and most impressive work is on the top. Make sure you mention why this link is worth clicking in the hyperlink itself. What was the exact success metric that you have even achieved? For example, instead of adding links like this, you need to add them like this. Can you see how I have explained what I have done, who I have done it for, and what I helped them achieve, all of it in just a single hyperlink. The more proof of work and testimonials you add, the better it is. In the end, you need to close your email with a good email signature and then elevate your overall email with a clear DP and a full name with title case and a professional email. But Ansh, how exactly do we make a good email signature? And how do you even set this? It's very simple. You just need to include links to all of your social media profiles and mention your contact details. This can be set on Gmail by going to the settings icon on the top right corner, then see all settings, then scroll down to find signatures, click on create new, and then name your signature and then add your full name, your designation, organization, your city, phone number, and all of your portfolio links as hyperlinked words. Make sure that you keep your fonts clear and professional and make sure that the hierarchy is set neatly. So just to give you a checklist for writing a cold email, you need to have proper capital casing, sufficient line breaks, proper spacing and punctuation, a clear offer and its value proposition, proof of work attached as publicly viewable links, a professional email signature, a clear DP, and a professional email. Checking all of these things will instantly help you get more replies. But please note that more than any of these tricks, the most important factor is your main offer, which means you need to be very good at what you do, you need to have enough proof, and you need to email the right kind of people at their right email addresses. If you take your video portfolio work and unnecessarily email the founders and the CEOs, it will not work out. So you have to target HRs and the creative heads and other senior video editors in the company that you're targeting. If these three components are weak, no technique can save you. Another thing to note is that most people don't reply to the first email you'll send. The key here is making sure you follow up after three days, but do not follow up more than twice. If you do it too often, you'll risk getting blocked forever. It is way better to improve your work for four or five months and then try again through a new email again after five to six months. And make sure you reply to the same email itself and not send a new email because it just shows that you've been very consistent. Just reply to the email that you've sent before with this exact template that, hi Ansh, I just wanted to follow up on my last email. Let me know if we can schedule a 15 minute Google Meet to discuss this further. With that, we complete all of our tips on writing a professional cold email. To win a certificate of achievement, you need to complete the following four steps. Step one, go to the link in description and create your Lex account and choose any topic of your choice. Step two, use my custom prompt to write your first draft of a cold email using Lex. Click the link in description to add my custom prompt to your Lex's account Ask Lex menu. Make sure you build on top of this first draft so that the email has your own personal twist. As I always say, use all of these AI tools to get your first draft and not your last draft. So you have to use your own creativity and use Lex as a powerful co-pilot that is next to you, helping you come up with very, very strong drafts. Step number three, go to LinkedIn and share the email that you've made using Lex. And don't forget to tag me. Step four, Copy the link to your LinkedIn post and email it to us at giveaway at the rate anshmera.com. Make sure your email includes your full name, your WhatsApp number and your full address where we will ship the certificate. And when you're emailing us, make sure you add Lex certificate in the email subject line. This giveaway is only for viewers living in India. Terms and conditions for the giveaway are in the description. We will pick winners within five days after the release of this video. Make sure you write your feedback or questions in the comment section below. Click on the subscribe button right now and hit the bell icon so you keep learning with us. If you want us to train your company on latest AI tools and productivity, then send us an email on collab at the rate anshmera.com. We've been consulting and training businesses all around the world. We've just launched a Hindi YouTube channel called The Playbook 
where you can learn how to improve your thinking and personality with lessons and case studies based on top entrepreneurs and titans. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Anshmehra signing out.